What's up, everybody? Marky Mark, back at y'all, in the kitchen, once again. It's Christmas Eve. I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays, no matter what the holiday is that you are celebrating. I wish you the happiest of happiest, and um, hope everyone's doing well, staying healthy, staying positive, spending time with their family, friends, loved ones in general, and make sure you hit up all your family, you hit up your friends, you let them know you're thinking about them, and uh, just do it up this year, y'all. So anyway, I got a special, quick little recipe for you guys. I'm gonna crank it out today, um, and I'm hoping to get it up. We'll see, well, I'm gonna get it up fast. I'm gonna get it up today so that by tomorrow, y'all can make this yourselves. This is a homemade eggnog recipe, and uh, it's absolutely delicious, perfect holiday drink. And honestly, after I actually tried homemade eggnog, I make this stuff <laughs> all the time. Um, not just for Christmas. It is absolutely delicious. And don't let eggnog freak you out. If you've only ever tried eggnog from the store, you know, in the generic milk jug eggnog, the thick, sweet stuff, it's not always like that. Homemade eggnog is absolutely delicious. It's totally different than that yellowy looking store-bought eggnog. Eggnog. So if you've only ever tried that and you're like, I don't like eggnog, it's terrible. Don't let that deter you, my friends. Let me tell you what, try this recipe. It is absolutely delicious. Um, I'm making it, the basic way I'm making it is not gonna have alcohol. I'm gonna now, I am going to add spiced rum to it because everyone that I'll be hanging with loves a nice spiked eggnog. So. Um, and I, re I recommend spice rum because it just blends perfectly with it. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go through the ingredients and uh, the rundown on how to put this together, y'all. So uh, stay tuned. All right, guys and girls. So what we got here is the spread. It's super simple too. This eggnog recipe is literally so delicious and it's so easy. All right, so what we're doing, you got your 12 eggs. Um, it's 12 eggs, eight cups of milk, two cups of heavy whipping cream, and I may go with a little more milk, a little less whipping cream if you wanna make it a little lighter um, and a little, uh, you know, a little uh, lower fat content, maybe go with a cup of heavy whipping cream. It's still gonna come out great. Vanilla extract, a teaspoon of uh, and I actually did a half a teaspoon of nutmeg and a half a teaspoon of allspice. Allspice is an awesome, uh, it's another awesome aromatic herb. It comes from a tree in West Africa and it comes from the dried berries of the tree and it's absolutely delicious. Um, and a lot of people say it tastes like a mixture of nutmeg, cinnamon, and cloves. So anyway, I did a half a teaspoon of allspice, half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Um, it calls for a little sprinkle of nutmeg when you pour it into a glass to serve it to make it look pretty. Um, but yeah, and then so, and two tablespoons of vanilla extract. So anyway, guys, the rundown on this, how you go about doing it is you do, like I said, eight cups of milk. You do your eggs and four cups of milk in a pot here, and you don't you got to make sure the key is you do not bring it to a boil. If you bring your eggnog to a boil, your eggs are going to cook and they're going to get thick and it's going to turn it in, turn it from a liquid to a solid. So what you're doing here is you want to raise the heat, you keep it on low heat and you heat it up very slowly. It probably is going to take 25 to 30 minutes because you're going to stay on low, maybe, you know, number two setting at the most for electric stoves but what you want to do really the key is to just have an instant read thermometer with you and just monitor the temperature and make sure it doesn't get above 160 degrees as long as you don't go above 160 you'll be all right as soon as it does hit 160 you want to have a metal bowl ready for your ice bath so i'm gonna have a metal bowl that fits right into this guy i'm gonna have this pretty full of water and a lot of ice and that way the bowl can sit right down in there 
and that is how you get your rapid cooling going on because um, the quicker you can cool this stuff down the better it's going to come out uh, but as long as you don't get over 160 and you keep stirring you'll be fine um, nothing crazy so don't don't you know don't get intimidated by this so anyway like i said guys four cups of milk all 12 eggs in here steady stirring and you don't have to steady stir it for 30 minutes i know that's a little crazy to think about but you just you know every every say every five minutes walk over give it a whip check your temp check your temp every five minutes as long as your burner is low enough you'll be fine as soon as it hits 160 pull it off drop it in your ice bath um i almost forgot you will have some non-sweet eggnog if you do not remember the sugar it's a cup and a half of sugar for this and this this batch makes 12, 12 one cup servings, so it makes a good old amount of eggnog. Um, but yeah, it's a cup and a half of sugar, and it's also a half teaspoon of salt. And you do add those while you're heating it up. So when you're heating it up, you do half your milk, which is four cups, all 12 eggs, uh, just a half a teaspoon of salt, and your cup and a half of sugar. <clears throat> Get it going, get it up to 160, take it off, drop it in the ice bath, and mix it all together. And I'm about to get at that right now, y'all. All right, y'all, so I got all the ingredients in here. Needed four cups of milk, all 12 eggs, beat up real nice, and it's on low heat. Maybe a number three for an electric skillet. You can see we're just on a nice low on the propane. and. Uh, that's it, slowly bring it up to temp. Once it gets to 160, pull that off. Have your ice bath ready to drop it in, get it rapid cooled, and you'll be looking good to go. The key to this is just a gradual heat raise, keeping it blended nicely, and then icing it down right away. As soon as it starts cooling, then you can add your other four cups of milk. That helps it cool even faster. Your vanilla extract, your nutmeg slash allspice, and uh, Get it all whipped up in there, and I'd go ahead and add the heavy whipping cream nog mixture. Hit 160, took about 25 minutes. You can see I got my ice bath ready to go. I'm dropping it in, and then I will now add in my other four cups of milk. That'll help cool it down, and we'll slowly incorporate that. Let me set this camera down here. So there's two here. Like I said, you want to do a nice slow pour, and you want to mix it as you're adding it, as to not let it change too much. Oh man. spice this up you definitely want to let it sit for at least three hours overnight's really the best that's what i like about this mixing it with the bowl in the ice bath you can see the bowl spinning get that spinning action going on just like some extra mixing action all right so now all i gotta do Two tablespoons of vanilla extract and your teaspoon of nutmeg and or I did 50-50 nutmeg and allspice and then I will whip this up let those flavors blend let it cool a little more then I'll add my heavy whipping cream and we're gonna be good to go y'all but you can see that's oh so creamy no thickness no chunks as long as you don't get the eggs over 170, they will not get hard on you. So, but you also do want to bring it slowly up to temperature. That is key. Slowly up to temperature and then quick in the ice bath to bring it down. Anyway, y'all, I'm going to add the cream, get this all jazzed up, and uh, I'll come back at y'all with a money shot here once I get me a glass pour. Oh yeah, guys, one more quick tech tip. When you jar this, be sure when you're ready to serve it that you give it a good shake, a nice gentle shake, because in the words of my favorite 
pro wrestler, Macho Man Randy Savage. The cream always rises to the top. Oh yeah! All right, people. The eggnog is finished up. It is absolutely delicious. You can see how thick and creamy it came out. And it is stout. Let me tell you what, people. It's about a half bottle of liquor to be exact. I used 22 ounces. And uh, so it's about 1.75 ounces per serving. There's 12 servings in here. And i tell you what, y'all. It is oh so good. Cheers, everybody. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Man, that is delicious. Y'all have got to try that out. And um, I'm going to get this video up today. So if y'all have time, you can get to the store, make it up, and you'll have it for tomorrow. If not, make this anytime because it is absolutely awesome. Once you try it, you'll be making it once a month. I guarantee it, y'all. So anyway, yeah, don't forget about New Year's. either. the perfect thing for New Year's. So until next time, y'all, enjoy the holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year's. This is Marky Mark coming at you live from the kitchen. Signing off and peacing out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. I love y'all. And until next time, I will catch you on the flip side. Later.